Admiral Gregg, Commander Louis. I'm glad the two of you got out of that fortress alive. Oh, thank you, Commander Bekara. If it was not for you, we would have died for sure. My only regret is we did not capture that evil scientist making these zombies. Well, about that. It seems like our intel has picked up an abnormal amount of energy coming from a particular CIS fortress. Higher than even some of these droid factories that we've been analyzing. This could be the power source that's feeding the zombie serum. We're guessing any sort of equipment powerful enough to make a zombie serum would take a lot of energy. So what you're saying is we might actually have the location of the scientist. Oh, this is great news, Commander Bakara. Me and Greg are forever in your debt. Well, it is just a hunch, but it's looking fairly promising. Even if the zombie serum is not being manufactured there, there's surely something going on within this fortress. But the problem is, it's a two-layer defense. They have fortresses surrounding the main fortress. We're gonna have to take those out first. I've set up a battle plan. Commander Louis, your first Royal Legion, will take on the town square. Admiral Gregg, you will take on a small farm where droids have set up a base. And my Nova Corps will take on a small military base. Then once we're all done, we'll collect and attack the outer wall of the main military base. Very good, very good, but what will Admiral Greg use as his army? The puny little Admiral has no army. I don't have an army, but I have a navy, Louis. I, I keep telling you, the navy is just as important as the army. Oh, sure it is. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's it's fine. Uh, Admiral Greg, you'll be able to use some of my troopers. I'll, I'll lend you some. Either way, let's get this mission going. The faster we do this, the faster we can catch the scientist. Yo, what's cracking gamers? Welcome to another episode of the Clone Wars Zombie Apocalypse series. Today, Commander Louis, Commander Bakara, and of course, Admiral Greg are going to be assaulting this CIS fortress over here. It's like a fortress city sort of a thing, or a city surrounded by a fortress, I suppose. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but either way, they're hunting down that scientist, which was the top voted comment in the last episode. At the end of this episode, please be sure to comment down below what you would like to happen in the next one, because this is a partially uh, community-based series, which I think is really fun. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of grim droids are defending the immediate outside of this fortress, but the main defenses are in the various other parts of the area. So the town has a ton of grim droids within it. That is where Commander Bakara, no, Louis, that's where Commander Louis is going to be attacking. Uh, then over here in this small little village area, that is where Admiral Greg, who is right there, is going to be attacking. And then finally, uh, there is a mini fortress over here where Commander Bakara will be attacking. There he is right there. Uh, so they need to eliminate all three of these small little sort of outpost things and then eventually get to the outskirts of the fortress itself in order to take that over. So multiple moving parts in this battle, but it should be really cool. I'm really excited for this. So guys, if you enjoy these videos, please be sure to smash that like button. It really helps me out a ton. Subscribe if you have not already. We're trying to hit 305k by the end of June. And comment on down below what you would like to have happen in the next episode. Either way, guys, without further ado, let's get into this thing. Yo, gamers, do you like ATTEs made out of Lego? I know I do. Well, guess what? You could win this ATTE shown here, if you go to Instagram, follow One Stud and Daily Tactics over there, and repost the ATTE post on my Instagram, Daily Tactics, to your story, and you will be entered in to win this glorious ATTE right here. Yes, thank you to One Stud for doing another giveaway with our channel. Shout out to him. Visit onestud.com to get some sweet deals on your Lego Clone Trooper army. Use code DAILY, D-A-L-E-Y, over there for a percent off your order. And be sure to check out our Instagram's link in the description below to enter in to the giveaway. 
This giveaway will be lasting a week from today, so it'll be ending on Saturday the 3rd. Best of luck! Alrighty then gamers, so I went ahead and pressed start and the game immediately crashed, so I had to reset up the entire battle. I got it to be about as close to what I had as before, same setup, uh, and we're gonna press start here. Per usual, like Rico's Brigade, uh, you know, if a uh, certain situation in the battle calls for me to command the clone troopers, we'll do that. If you guys are familiar with the rules of Rico's Brigade, the same rules apply to this battlefield. You know, we have the retreat rule, so if the defenders ever just have stragglers out in the front lines that logically, in actual warfare, they'd retreat, we'll do that. Uh, the other rule is we can squad up troopers who are assaulting, and of course, in Rico's Brigade itself, uh, I can actually just straight up command the troopers, but I try to make it as much as a, of a cinematic experience as possible, rather than a, you know, mission experience, though sometimes we do tournament missions and whatnot. Oh, most people watching are probably veterans of the channel, so you guys probably know what the dealio is. Either way, we've got Admiral Greg over here launching an assault on this tiny little farmstead. It kind of reminds me of the farm from uh, the episode of the Clone Wars where there's the deserter clone with his family and Rex has been shot by a commando sniper and all the commandos are sort of assaulting on the house. That kinda, this kind of reminds me of that. Uh, this would be a good uh, Clone Wars recreated map for that. Either way, it does seem like they're taking some hits, but not really too many losses. They're actually doing pretty A-OK -okay over here. Let's check in on Bukhara, who is assaulting over Zisoe, his 21st Nova Corps, launching some, uh, some serious laser fire towards the enemy over here. Uh, they actually have taken a few losses in the... Uh, in the few minutes of this battle that we've seen thus far, though they've still got a lot of troopers standing. It actually surprises me. The the droids don't have like a crazy defense here or anything. I mean, yeah, they've got some droids sort of scattered throughout, but not too many. You know, they do have two E-Web droids, but those things aren't like all powerful or anything like that. They're decent, uh, but they, they certainly don't make it a game changer, I don't think, unless you're in a choke point sort of a situation. So I'm actually surprised at the number of Galactic Marines that have gone down on this battlefield thus far. I wonder if it just has to do with them not having the best aim right now or something? I'm not entirely sure. This looks like a dope photo though. This would make for a great background with all the troopers in the back sort of fighting while the troopers in the front lay down cover fire. This looks pretty sick. Every once in a while in Meta War you just get a picture perfect wallpaper moment. You know, a moment where you, you throw that on your Windows 10 machine and you call it a day, and I think that was definitely one of those. Uh, what's going on with Commander Louis and his village assault over here? It seems like Commander Louis is definitely struggling a little bit. There's a lot of dead Grim Droids on the battlefield here, but I'm not seeing too many of Commander Louis' folks in the heat of the battle here. They, they all seem to be dead if they were ever on the front lines or they're in the back line sort of doing cover fire and whatnot. Why don't we go into normal speed here? I think that's enough slow-mo and check this out. This battlefield over here is a lot more sort of Stalingrad-y, going house to house, little guerrilla warfare in the city sort of a thing. Meanwhile, over here we've got like a Battle of the Alamo kind of thing going on, you know? Clone Troopers having the perfect advantage over the, the canyon below. The very Battle of the Alamo. And I suppose this would be like... Gosh, I don't know. What's a what's like a, a battle with guns where you're going up against a massive fortress? Battle of Berlin, maybe? I mean, there is a few fortresses in there, I suppose. But, uh, not really. Man, I don't know. I'm trying to think of like a modern battle with like a fortress wall in it. You know, like a large wall. But most of those were, were fought during the Dark Ages or like, um... You know, summon ancient Greece and stuff like that. So, not not so much this. I guess it's it's tougher. I don't know. Can anyone think of a think of a battle? I'm I'm just blanking here. It's actually pretty late at night now. It's 10:55. So, so maybe my history degree ain't working overtime in my old noggin. Maybe I'm lacking the the uh, ability right now. Either way, a lot more of these grim droids for Bakar's troopers in this little fortress defensive are starting to fall. 
uh, which is good for them because it was getting a little bit desperate there. I was kind of ashamed of what the Galactic uh, Marines were doing. It was not very impressive, but there's Bakar himself along with his troopers still fighting. They don't have too many left, but... Uh, oh my god, they really don't have too many left. But maybe they have enough to take the fort? I mean, they haven't even touched the interior yet, which has even more Grim Droids, but they've almost wiped out the exterior, so I guess that's something. Alright, what's going on over here? Uh, looks like there's just a few Grim Droids in the Alamo part of the battle over here. Uh, and the Galactic Marines seem to be starting to surround them. They're taking it nice and slow and steady. That seems like Admiral Greg's vibe. You know, he'd rather just take things easy and slowly encroach on the enemy rather than throw all of his men at them at once. So that makes sense. Commander Louis, on the other hand, is beginning his assault on the riverbank over here. Going to be crossing these bridges, hopefully, uh, promptly. They've gotten a few kills on these Grim Droids, but it seems like the Grim Droids are doing a nice job of taking out a number of Commander Louis' troopers. However, Commander Louis seems to be doing the best out of the three commanders at the moment, which is surprising. <laughs> I honestly thought Admiral Greg and uh, Bakara, just based on their personalities, would outperform Commander Louis here. But Commander Louis' first Royal Legion seems to be doing pretty well. Here we go. They are just starting to get into the river. This man, like, gliding on it. I, or it's just, like, puddle deep. It's really not a deep river, is it? Nope. That's a pretty pretty shallow river. Wow, actually, a lot of Commander Louis' troopers did end up dying in this battlefield. But, hey, they've still got some to spare, so that's good for them. Good on you, boys. And now they will begin their assault on the final defensive region over here however for the next video uh if any of the other regions say the alamo region manages to survive although now admiral greg's troopers are all marching out so i think this one is officially over over ski oh there's one droid in there one droid all right the one droid can go start a ruckus i suppose Go chase after them, one droid. <laughs> but, uh, so this this area is now done. But say Commander Bakara's area, um, is, is, it fails to fall during this battle, and ba Bakara fails to actually take this, um, little fortress thing. Then in the next episode, this defensive region will still stand for when we, uh, do the final assault on the larger fortress here, too. So, It'll have to split the commander's men once again, which is more difficult. And, of course, this fortress wall could, of course, uh, not fall as well, in which case it would be very bad. You know, then, then they're going to have to either completely redo their assault here or find another way to get in or something along those lines. However, Commander Louis has had good uh, success with the past two objectives he's had, the village as well as the river, so maybe he'll do just as well here on the final descent into the fortress. It seems like the Grim Droids are taking some damage, but not a crazy amount. They're, they're, they're taking a few losses here and there, but for the most part, Commander Louis' troopers do fail to take them out. The, actually, a lot of Commander Louis' troopers going down big time right now. This is actually kind of a slaughter. Not looking too hot and spicy. Uh, it looks like the Galactic Marines from Greg's troopers are starting to cut in. Oh, yeah, actually a bunch of them over here starting to cut in. And it looks like Commander Louis actually left a small amount of Grim Droids left behind on the bridge. Sloppy work, Louis. Definitely some sloppy work there. So Greg's troopers are going to have to take them out real quick here. They haven't taken any losses yet, but it is slowing them down from actually assisting Louis' troopers up here. And Louis' troopers continue to get slaughtered. If they hadn't been sloppy on the bridge region, then maybe they wouldn't be losing so many troopers because the Galactic Marines would be cutting in on the other side. However, they have taken out the majority of both of these sandbags and the final sandbag wall over here is just barely hanging in there. There is actually, yeah, one more group of Grim Droids over there on the far left, uh, but actually Louis' troopers have somehow managed to tank their way through this battle. They have taken so many losses, but they just keep throwing numbers at the problem. Which is crazy. Normally in Men of War, each trooper is very cautious of their life. You know, there's a lot of value of life in each Men of War trooper. You know, they would rather run away than die most of the time, or they'd rather take cover than die most of the time. It's actually a great part of Men of War, one of the reasons I like it, because each trooper really values their own life in the game. Uh, but it seems like with Louis' troopers, they don't care. They're just sort of lobbing themselves at the enemy. 
Uh, maybe that has to do with Commander Louis' personality. It's actually going into the AI of his soldiers. Uh, maybe, that's what I'd like to think. But he is just straight up kamikaze. And they're not taking it slow at all. They just went full in. And there you go. The gate defenses there have fallen. These defenses here have fallen. Has Bakara succeeded? No! Bakara is the only one who has not succeeded. Uh, Bakara himself is beyond this hill no, here, healing Klinga. up right now. Wow, dude. And there's one trooper way back. Oh, that's Admiral Greg. He decided to hang out um, back there. Well, oh, no, there's one Grim Droid somewhere around here. Where is this guy? Oh, there he is. He's right there. Why don't you guys just... Oh, yeah, they're grenading him. Nice. Well, uh, GG on three of the objectives. The main wall the village and the uh, smaller farmstead over here however the mini fortress over this way still has yet to fall so what we're gonna do is in the next episode uh commander louis and the gang will have to take this fortress do you guys want me to reinforce this fortress uh and they'll do one assault on this and then they'll do the city assault or uh, you know in a video after or do you want me to do both of these assaults in one video? Let me know in the comment section below either way guys Let's check out the losses here. So yellow are dead clone troopers. No Bakara. Don't go in uh, Red are dead droids and it seems like Bakara came out on the short end right there um, <laughs> Louis took a lot of losses too. He might not have enough men to even go up against the uh the main fortress there. Actually, he didn't take too many losses over here. It was really at the end where he took a lot, and at the bridge. Um, and and how did Admiral Greg do? He took. He ended up taking some losses, but he did pretty well for himself, to be honest. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. No, Bakara and Greg, run away from that fire. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. I really do hope you're enjoying this series. I'm having a blast making it. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.